Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning into the show today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. One of the many amazing things about the Florida Keys is the amazing talent you'll find here. The drawing behind me was created by a local artist and Key West resident who I'll be speaking with this morning. I'll also be talking with Dr. Michael Berman, Kim Romano, the executive director at Womankind, and the Island Shoe Girl. But first, let's get back to the drawing behind me and talk with the man who created it. Noah, thank you so much for being with me this morning. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Noah, you are a Key West resident, and you have grown up here your whole life. Um, well, actually, almost. <laughs> almost my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I, um, when I was growing up, I spent my time mostly here and then somewhat in Vermont, and then spent more time in Vermont as I got older and eventually went to high school there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yes. Key West resident, I moved back here after just finishing college. Um, mm -hmm. Now I live here full time. Okay, and you you've been here long enough to really get your inspiration here in the Keys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I was young, my father was a real estate developer, mm -hmm. still is a real estate developer, mm -hmm. but he uh, was doing the Truman Annex, and so I'd spend my time in Vermont, which was this um, woodsy, you know, I'd play with sticks and mud mm -hmm. and stuff, and then come down here and spend time on this giant construction site, which was, you know, rubble and mm -hmm. rebar. Um, and to me as a child, it was an almost apocalyptic, like, playground, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the work I do is about different realities and different ways of seeing the world, you know, reflection. And so um, I'm sure a lot of that came from growing up, you know, in that environment. Mm -hmm. Now, art has just always interested you your whole life. Yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. I've been, um, basically, I, I can't help myself. I do art. I draw, mm -hmm. I paint, I make videos and uh, sculptures in as many mediums as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to learn metal and ceramic and wood, um, you know, all the time. Everything. Yeah. You want to know it all. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, now the sculpture that people can see behind us right now. Noah, you recently won a huge accomplishment for this. Yeah, it was great. Um, I was accepted as a finalist for the uh, Art Laguna Prize, which is a um, it's 110 countries involved, 8,000 mm -hmm. applicants, um, and I got to go to Venice and display in a uh, giant old submarine factory mm -hmm. that they turned into an art place, um, an art exhibition center. Um, it was amazing. I was the only American there that tried to represent mm -hmm. the country as much as possible. But, you did a great um, job. It, yeah, <laughs> it, was, um, it was really fun. It was amazing. Um, and then actually the same piece is going to be shown um, this summer in Vermont. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Helen Day Center it's showing to have one at the entrance and one at the exit. So mm -hmm. the Very cool. And now did you say this piece was selected out of 8,000 yeah, applicants? Yeah, 8,000 applicants. I was one of 17 sculptors selected. Were you surprised? Anyway? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, I sort of just applied, you know, kind of, you know, might as well and mm -hmm. you do something like that. and then. I kept getting emails, she got through the next, next round, and, mm -hmm. you know, can you supply some more information, and mm -hmm. then the next round, and eventually, mm -hmm. they actually didn't tell me until about three and a half weeks before I had to be there, so it was this really? wild scramble to get uh -huh. it over there, mm -hmm. yeah, it was pretty great. Talk with us about the piece, Noah. Um, this is a wood piece, it's just no nails or glue, it's just simple, perfectly straight pieces of wood that I c cut and planed up in Vermont, mm -hmm. um, and then just um, figured out a way of stacking them to create this arc. Um, you can see there. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's hollow. You can go inside of it. Mm -hmm. It's um, you know I I, have, I I really enjoy building it. It's really mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. um, How long did it take you to do this? To build it? Yeah. About half an hour. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> but to prepare it, mm -hmm. um, qu uh, quite a while, and to figure it out, I built probably six or seven. I built one in Alaska, I built one down here. Mm -hmm. Just sort of, you know, I really like playing with, you know, large pieces of wood and mm -hmm. just figured it out. You know? Just figured it out, okay. Mm -hmm. What are you working on right now, Noah? Um, I'm uh, doing a lot of video work down here. I've been mm -hmm. welding out of mm -hmm. the college and doing ceramic work. I'm trying to be able to have as many um, ways of producing sculptures under my belt as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I wake up in the morning, I just you do that. Can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, applying to, uh, uh, reapply to Sculpture Key West, which mm -hmm. was the first exhibition I was in last year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah. So okay. Well, people can find more information 
out about you, of course, on your website. You have all of your past work on mm -hmm. there. And I wish you the best of luck, you know, Thank as you. you go on your journey of art. <laughs> all right, everybody. We're going to be right back after this with Kim Romano, the executive director of Womankind. So don't go away. <laughs>